Hello, and thank you for visiting the Advancing to a Professional Vocational Educator License component of the Massachusetts Educator Licensure Series. The purpose of this presentation is to offer guidance to individuals who are seeking to advance a vocational preliminary license to the professional license type. Please note that the professional license is the second stage of licensure for vocational technical teachers. If you are looking to obtain your first teaching license, please see the video for the Preliminary Vocational Technical Educator License. Throughout this presentation, there will be references to finding additional information such as guides, forms, and other websites. Links to these resources can be found within the description directly beneath this video. In general, the requirements for a professional vocational educator license are made up of the following components. Possession of a preliminary license in the field of the professional license sought. Completion of three years of employment under the corresponding preliminary license. Completion of a one-year induction program with a trained mentor. Completion of the core academic coursework. Completion of the six professional education courses maintenance of any required state or national occupational license, and obtaining the Sheltered English Immersion Endorsement. In the following slides, additional detail and information will be provided about satisfying these requirements. The requirements for the Professional Vocational Educator License are similar among the various licensure fields. However, interested applicants should still be sure to consult the Chapter 74 Guide for Professional Vocational Technical Teacher Licensure found on the Office for Educator Licensure website for the specific license requirements. In order to be awarded a professional vocational educator license, applicants must document three years of employment under the corresponding preliminary license. This employment must occur after the date that the preliminary license was issued. The licensure office keeps a record of all licenses issued and will confirm that the applicant holds the appropriate preliminary license. In order to document employment under the preliminary license, educators should submit a completed copy of the licensure office's Verification of School-Based Employment Induction and Mentoring Form. A copy of this form may be found on our website. Educators may also use a letter on official school letterhead signed off by the school superintendent, principal, or HR director. This letter should denote the dates of employment and the specific license under which the educator was employed. Educators who begin teaching under a preliminary vocational technical educator license must complete a one-year induction program with a trained mentor as a part of their first year of teaching. The employing school district will coordinate the induction program with the educator and will assign an appropriate mentor. Completion of this program may be documented in the same letter that verifies three years of employment under the preliminary license. In order to be awarded a Professional Vocational Educator License, applicants must have completed one of the following options. Possession of a bachelor's degree. Possession of a higher level of education than what was required for the preliminary license. Or, documenting 18 college credits in the following areas. Three college credits in English, three college credits in mathematics, three college credits in science, and nine college credits in English, math, science, or in the subject matter knowledge of the vocational field. Applicants should upload an official college transcript into their ELAR account documenting that they were awarded college credit for their coursework. An official college transcript will bear the signature of the registrar. The core academic coursework may be completed at any accredited university. If an educator has previously earned a college degree or completed any coursework, then it is possible that they have already completed courses that may be accepted towards this requirement. A listing of department-recognized national accrediting organizations can be found at the link below. If an educator would like to know where they stand in terms of the core academic credits, they should submit an application for the professional license so that the licensure office may do an official review of the transcripts on file and provide a detailed evaluation. 
Additional information on the types of courses accepted towards the core academic credits may be found in the Chapter 74 Guide for Professional Vocational Technical Educator Licensure, found at the link below. In order to be awarded a Professional Vocational Educator License, educators must also complete six three-credit professional education courses approved by the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. These courses address various pedagogical techniques for working in vocational technical education. The courses are offered at Fitchburg State University, Westfield State University, and through the Massachusetts Association of Vocational Administrators, also known as MAVA. Educators should contact the university to see which courses are being offered in a given semester. The courses may be taken in any order. Educators should note that applicants were previously required to complete the seven courses listed here. However, due to the 2020 regulation changes, the content for the course's seminar for the beginning vocational technical education teacher and managing student behavior in a healthy and safe environment is being merged into a new course to bring the total down to six. This course is in the process of being created and will soon be offered. In the meantime, the licensure office has developed a substitution policy to allow educators to complete the license requirements to obtain the professional license. A guide detailing this policy may be found at the link below. After completing the courses, educators should submit an official college transcript documenting that they were awarded college credit for completing the course. An official college transcript will bear the signature of the registrar. Certain vocational fields will require educators to hold a state, federal, or industry license or certification relevant to their field in addition to their vocational educator license. For example, an applicant for an Early Education and Care 9-14 through 14 license must also possess the LEAD Teacher Certification issued by the Massachusetts Department of Early Education and Care. An applicant for a Horticulture 9-14 through 14 license is required to also hold a Massachusetts Pesticide Applicator license issued by the Massachusetts Department of Public Safety. Vocational educators are expected to maintain any required occupational licenses or certifications throughout their educational career. However, applicants should note that not all vocational fields require an additional license or certification. If an occupational license is required for a Chapter 74 vocational educator license, applicants should submit an official copy of the current license or certification that clearly denotes the applicant's name and the expiration date of the license. Please consult the Chapter 74 guide for the Professional Vocational Technical Teacher License found at the link below to see if the license field you are interested in requires an occupational license. On June 26, 2018, the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education voted to adopt regulations that incorporated the Sheltered English Immersion Endorsement into the requirements for the Professional Vocational Technical Educator License. However, this new SEI requirements for the professional license will not go into effect until July 1, 2021. Therefore, if a vocational educator is able to earn their professional license before July 1, 2021, earning the SEI teacher endorsement will not be a requirement. If a vocational educator will be earning their professional license on or after July 1, 2021, possession of the SEI endorsement will be a requirement. For more information on how to earn the SEI endorsement, please view the corresponding video. Once it has been issued, the Professional Vocational Educator License is valid for five calendar years. Educators should note that this is one of the ways that the Professional License differs from the Preliminary License, which is valid for five years of employment. The professional license must be renewed every five calendar years, regardless of whether or not the educator is working under the license. In order to renew a professional vocational educator license, educators must accrue professional development points, also known as PDPs. For more information about professional license renewal, please review the Chapter 74 Guide for Professional Vocational Technical Educator License Renewal, found at the link below.
Thank you for taking the time to learn more about educator licensure in Massachusetts. Thank you also for being an educator or aspiring to become one. Your efforts are commendable and greatly appreciated. We hope this component of MELS has been helpful. Please visit other components of the series for additional information about educator licensure. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to call the Licensure Call Center at 781-338-6600 or stop by and visit us in person at our walk-in service counter at 75 Pleasant Street, Malden, Massachusetts.